This is the final demonstration of our final year project interleaved switch capacitor bidirectional DC to DC converter for energy storage system. Due to the energy crisis, present and future will demand the high efficiency and effective extraction of renewable energy. In that scenario, DC to DC converters play a major role. A bidirectional DC to DC converter is a key component for interfacing an energy storage element such as a supercapacitor or a battery pack with DC bus. Therefore, a bidirectional DC to DC converter with a wide voltage gain range is desired for energy storage systems to connect a low voltage battery with a high voltage DC bus. There are buck, boost, buck boost, cook, full bridge, flyback, forward, half bridge, three level and multi level and switch capacitor converters. But Due to their disadvantages, we are going to design and implement of interleaved switch capacitor by directional DC to DC converter for energy storage system with the objectives of low voltage stress on power semiconductors, low current ripple, wide voltage gain and higher converting efficiency. This is the overall control strategy of the proposed interleaved switch capacitor by directional converter. It can be identified mainly two different paths for the boost operation and the buck operation. The path is defined by the UC input. This UC input is given by energy management algorithm or a controller which is connected to the system or an application. As an example, if we interface this proposed converter in a hybrid energy storage system, then UC is defined by an energy management algorithm. According to the control signal UC, the operative mode is selected. Then the proposed bidirectional DC to DC converter operates in step up or step down mode. When UC equals 0, it operates in the step up mode and the voltage is controlled by boost voltage controller with the reference voltage in the voltage loop. In the meantime, the feedback current is controlled by the boost current controller with the reference current in the current loop. The corresponding PWM schemes are selected to generate the gate signals S1 to S5 in the step up mode. Similarly, when UC equals 1, the converter operates in step down mode and the voltage is controlled by buck voltage controller with the reference voltage and the feedback current is controlled by the buck current controller with the reference current. The corresponding PWM schemes are selected to generate gate signals S1 to S5 in the step-down mode. This is our simulation model. This is the interleaved switch capacitor bidirectional DC to DC converter. The interleaved structure is adopted in the low voltage side of this converter to reduce the ripple of the current through the low voltage side. And the series connected structure is adopted in the high voltage side to achieve the high step up step down voltage gain. This is the boost operation controller. In here, we use inner current controller loop to generate switching signals. In the boost operation, we consider 400 volt as DC bus voltage. We use synchronous rectification mode to control all five semiconductors simultaneously. In the buck operation, we use similar model as we used for boost operation. In this scenario, we set reference voltage as low voltage side voltage and then buck operation is performed to obtain the required low voltage. This is our simulation results. In the step up mode, the output voltage can stay constant around the reference voltage 400 volt while varying input from 50 volt to 120 volt continuously so that this converter is capable of handling high voltage gain range. Then let's see the voltage and current stresses of power semiconductors and capacitors. Voltage stresses of power semiconductors and capacitors are half of the voltage U high. Then let's move to the current ripple rate. The current ripple rate varying with the duty factor. We can obtain minimum current ripple rate 3% at 100 volt and maximum current ripple rate as 20% at 50 volt. Then let's move to the efficiency. We can obtain nearly 99.72 efficiency in the step up mode. In the step down mode, the proposed converter can obtain wide voltage gain range varying from 0.125 to 0.3. Voltage stresses of power semiconductors and capacitors are half of the voltage U high in this mode as well.
and also we can obtain 99.5% efficiency and minimum current ripple rate of 0.002% in buck mod. Application of the proposed converter. The operation of this elevator motor causes for the fluctuation of the DC bus voltage due to the sudden power requirements and the regenerative energy generation. This would cause excessive stress on DC bus as well as to the grid. We proposed a topology such that when the sudden demand is required then it will be supplied by the supercapacitor coupled to the DC bus through the proposed DC to DC converter. And when the regenerative energy flow into the DC bus, those energy is absorbed by the supercapacitor while maintaining the constant DC bus voltage. In our scenario, we use the battery storage system as the main energy source to the elevator. We first developed a MATLAB simulation model for the interleaved switched capacitor bidirectional DC-DC converter. Then, in this section, we simulate our proposed converter in an elevator motor application. In this model, we can see the main electrical source is a battery and it is connected to the DC bus. The inverter is supplied power to the elevator motor and the proposed converter is connected to the supercapacitor and the DC bus through a breaker. This is a typical torque and speed profile of an elevator operation. In this section, the elevator is lifted up and then stopped and then again it is lifted down and then stop. You can see the voltage of the DC bus voltage is fluctuated around the 400 volt. So we need to introduce our proposed bidirectional DC-DC converter to mitigate this voltage fluctuations. This is the result that we can obtain after introducing our proposed bidirectional DC-DC converter to the system with a supercapacitor. In this scenario, we also use the same speed torque profile that we used before. In here you can see the motor remote and the regenerative mode and the voltage of the DC bus is almost 400 volt. The voltage is not even reached to 399.7 voltage. So it can be concluded that our proposed topology to stabilize the DC bus voltage in an elevator motor connected application is successful and worked perfectly. Finally, we were able to successfully completed our final year project of uh, design and simulation of interleaved switched capacitor bidirectional DC-DC converter and a comprehensive analysis of its performance with the practical application. This is the end of our demonstration. Thank you for listening to us.